The next recommendation I have for you in this reflection is about uh, the element of cleanliness. Cleanliness means honest thinking inside and acting outside. Uh, it's a very hard thing to accomplish, but cleanliness is next to godliness. And uh, you see, Mother Earth is providing us such a wonderful and clean environment. And we manage to dirty it up and creating big, huge garbage dumps and so many other difficulties for our environment. So cleanliness and in this connection, especially in reference to how we deal with the children and with the opposite sex. Because if we lie to them and we create sufferings to them, then you bet there's no chance for being considerate with all the other living beings. Cleanliness in your action, in your thoughts, in your words, means that you don't do anything which hurts others. Not now and not in the future either. So cleanliness in dealings, it means that you are very concerned that everything you do will also in the future show you as a real gentleman, as somebody who is trustworthy. Therefore, I would say, especially in regards to the relationship with the opposite sex, that marriage is the decent form of having a sincere relationship with somebody because you accepting from the outstart this person is going to be under my protection. I'm going to take care of her and she and her children will never be in despair for being abandoned. So this is a kind of a situation which cleanliness will bring to you as an automatic side effect because to abandon children and to give them so much pain is not acceptable. Clean dealings means that uh, you are considering the effect of your activities for a long time to come. And children, they need a clean and honest treatment. And they need their father and mother as much as that is possible. If we don't consider that and our dealings are just for our temporary pleasure of our senses and no further responsibility, we must honestly say that's a very dirty behavior, a dirty mentality. That's why in order to reach cleanliness, marriage is the recommended way to go. And marriage should be a spiritual marriage. There should be some consideration. Neither he nor she is the center or the enjoyer or the controller. We should work together helping each other for the higher purpose, for the sweet will of God, as we may understand it and as we may understand it to be the injunction for favoring our family, to be a loving unit all the way down to the little details of every day.